My name is Jolyn Sproul and I'm the Director of Financial Aid at the South Campus. I would like to give you my story on the Chancellor's Parade. About two years ago, Nancy Chain contacted me and asked me if I would like to go on a road trip with her. She wanted to go to Leggett, Texas to watch the Chancellor in a parade. Nancy and I headed out toward Leggett, Texas, and as we were driving, I kept wondering, what kind of parade could the Chancellor be in? And better yet, what kind of float would they put her on? You know, I was thinking, would it be a, a red convertible? Maybe they've made her the Grand Marshal. I've come to think of her as almost royalty. Someone that, when she walked into a room, demanded attention and she received that attention. I couldn't picture what kind of a float that they could put together that was deserving to have her sit on top of. As we drove and we reached Leggett, Texas, it started to seem a little different and the questions that came to mind then weren't so much about the float. They were more about what type of parade was this going to be. There were no policemen directing traffic. There were no roads being blocked off. There wasn't the gathering of the crowds that, you know, to get the good seats and the best candy that's going to be thrown out. As we traveled into the town, Nancy told me to look for a certain bank and we were to park in the parking lot of the bank. We found the bank, we parked, we got out of the car, and we headed around the back of the bank. As we rounded the corner, I came to a complete halt. I just stood there. I couldn't believe what I was seeing. In front of me was a flat trailer, a flat bedded trailer. It basically had streamers. It had three bales of hay sitting on it. I just stood there looking at this float. I just could not believe this is what my chancellor was going to be sitting on. But what disturbed me even more was the thought, she's going to walk up to this float and she's going to look at me and she's going to say, Jolene, fix that. I'm not riding on it. I'm in Leggett, Texas. I have $20 in my purse and they don't even have a super Walmart. I did not know how I was going to be able to fix this float. Now, I knew she wasn't going to turn to Nancy and tell Nancy to fix the float because Nancy would have walked up to the float. She would have shook it a little and she would have looked at the chancellor and said, there's nothing wrong with this float. It didn't cost us anything. So just get up on it and ride on this float. We were standing there looking at the float when I heard a car pull up. I knew right away that it was the chancellor. I could just feel that feeling come over the back of my neck. My hair was raising up. I knew the chancellor was here and I was ready for my assignment. She got out of the car and she walked up. As I turned to look at her, for some weird reason, Tom Sawyer and Huckleberry Finn popped into my head. I could just see both of them saying, Ooh, that's one of them tall ladies. One of them ladies that you don't go around because she can look at your eyes and know everything that you did wrong. Some people might even say she has that power, that power to steal your soul and make you do things that you never wanted to do. She walked up to the float. She acknowledged Nancy and myself and she looked at the float and then she turned to the float committee and she said, when do we start? she was ready to climb on top of that float. With a little help, she was able to get onto that flatbed trailer and sit up on that hay. She sat there prim and proper, straight as she could be. And she said, I'm ready. At that moment, I realized that the chancellor had never forgot her beginning. She was proud and she was so honored by this community that she was more than willing to do anything that they asked of her. She was home. She was at the Macy Day Parade at Leggett, Texas. She was honoring her community and she did this with dignity and grace. And she was amazing as she crawled on that piece of hay and sat there as tall and as proud as she could be. There were three vehicles in this parade. There was a fire truck, the chancellor's car, and the float. The chancellor's car had the family in it. She looked at Nancy and I and she said, you two may ride in the car. I politely bowed out and said, no, that was okay, that I would just wait for Nancy here at the end of the parade. She looked at me and she explained, I have many families. One of my families is consisting of TCC employees. Now get yourself into that car.
And so I obliged and got into the car. She ended the day with a wonderful speech in which she honored these people of Leggett, Texas for giving her beginning and helping her to become the lady that she was today. And I can also assure you that no time during the day did she stop recruiting students to go to college because I had a long line of students that day to explain financial aid to at the Macy Day Parade in Leggett, Texas.